I'm Dr. Stephen Cantor, Editor-in-Chief of Academic Medicine, and I'm delighted to be here today with Al Bradford, Director of Staff Editing. Al, welcome. Thank you. So, Al, uh, tell us a little bit about uh, what is substantive editing. There are several reasons it's important. First of all, what it is is getting past just the surface of an article and finding out whether it really communicates, finding out whether it uh, is accurate uh, as much as we can, and trying to do our best so that people in various disciplines around academic medicine will want to read it even if it's not in their discipline. So that means like uh, working on organization, working on the meaning of what the authors are saying, uh, checking transitions to make sure that you know something just doesn't appear out of the blue, uh, and in general just trying to make it so that the reader is willing to read it and actually get something from the substance of the article. So you really help authors strengthen their arguments. Yes, and they under, we are very fortunate also in that when Adine Kelly came on as editor, she made it as one of her priorities that we work very collaboratively and collegially with authors to make them understand that we are there to help them, not to beat them up. Uh, so we are not authoritarian editors, we are collegial editors and the authors almost always are grateful and are uh, surprised really that we can dig so deep even though we're not you know surgeons or uh, uh, pediatricians or lawyers or wh whoever the authors are that because of the our skill with words and because the authors actually have something to say we can uncover that and work with them so that it comes to the surface I, I know that uh, many many authors have a, a deep appreciation for uh, the, the firm but gentle way that you guide them through the manuscript uh, editing process. Uh, what's the secret of your success? Sort of get inside the author's mind. And if, if we're, all of us here are good wordsmiths and are very sensitive to words, so that if the, auth if the author has written something substantive, I and mean, that's the key thing, and fortunately the journal can has so many submissions that it it accepts only the really good ones. So uh, almost everything we edit does have a message, does have something buried in there. And so I think the secret of uh, my success and of the other editor's success is that we know how to sort of carve away all the bad stuff, kind of like uh, Michelangelo with David, and we, we see the David within each article. And, and, and it's our imagination and our flexibility and our knowledge of words and our knowledge of people that allows us to, to sort of have x-ray vision and say, well, that, it's really under there somewhere, and to carve it away and work with the author to carve it away. Mm -hmm. it, it's really about the quality of the ideas and the arguments. Yes, yes it is, it is. We, uh, I think some people feel that uh, we over here at Academic Medicine are just uh, comma chasers, but that's the least, it's hardly even on our radar. Um, things like commas and spelling, they are important, but that is not our main emphasis. Our emphasis is what you just said: is the, what is the theme, what is the substance, uh, is it is it is it clearly enough stated so that, um, for example, if there's an article about CEOs and mergers and issues of academic uh, health centers, will it be clear enough and compelling enough so that someone in a completely different part of academic medicine, like a nurse or a dentist, would want to read it? and learn from it so they would understand what the CEOs are dealing with. And the opposite is true too. If we had an article about nurses, would it be well enough edited and well enough written and would it have enough substance that the CEO would want to read it and find out what the nurses are up to? So our editing is important because we are trying to make our articles very cross-disciplinary, very, very transparent.